everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy red carpet. Hello, nice to meet you. So, because I'm a random scattered person, yeah. we saw your reaction on the social media earlier this week, getting a fun little painting oh. from Frank Valentini. Yeah. And I'm guessing there's a there's a backstory. You said you you loved it from the moment you saw it. Yeah. Do you know that? Did you not recognize the painting? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So um, I I said that, but even back then I, I I said I wanted that painting, and I was sort of. Um, it was forgotten about and this and that and then I guess he remembered. In 2000, I think 15, give or take, uh, there was a, a scene of Ava dangling from a bridge mm -hmm. and I made a very limited edition. I saw that. I am presenting you <laughs> and it is limited because my art skills are limited. So there you go. This what is going that? on the wall. <laughs> Hey, it's going on the wall. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Now, uh, how am I going to get this home? I can't carry it right I'll now. I'll make sure that you get it at you some will? point. I, will I make, want this, though. I will make sure that it is, it's, it's sent to you at the... <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I, I liked what my husband said about it, though. He said, if, if that's more, what did she say? If that's more west, avoiding sharks while moving, moving mountains. mountains said, <laughs> I mean, I think it's right, right? I love it. So you're going to make sure I get that? I'll make sure. I that... really want it. That's going to be framed and yes. put on the, the Mora wall. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> I so appreciate you. I have to, uh, I mean, we have to talk about a little bit of Emmys real quick here. Okay. Um, yes, in 15 seconds or less, yeah. everything that Ava's gone through in the last year, yeah. and go. Oh, uh, well, she she was blamed for murdering someone that she didn't murder. She basically set herself on fire. She did. Almost died. Almost. Went to the burn unit, had cardiac arrest. Um, got home, uh, felt a little better, had to, wear, had to wear a mask had some surgery done, then had to go to a clinic in Russia where she saved patients, she saved patient six from Russian killers. And then she um, had to escape from them herself. She fell in love with a priest. I mean, okay. She, uh, anything else? No, that's about, I mean, uh, that's, you know. Her face was finally fixed. How much was there a lot of time spent on the makeup? No. Really? No, they, no they're pros. Okay. It was just like glue and some... Well, it certainly didn't look like it. I mean, it looked like it. you were there probably for a long time. Yeah, so no. that shows the magic of the... Yeah, smoke the, and mirrors. ...of the makeup team at, at General Hospital. Yeah, they're quite good. I've been asking people who I interview... Yeah. ...to give me a question for the next person that I talk to. Okay. It's gotten me in trouble. It's been interesting. Oh. The question that was submitted for you... Oh. ...not knowing it was you... Oh. ...is... Okay. ...did you grow up rich or poor? This is from Greg Rickert of The Young and the Restless. Huh. He says it's a disarming and an honest and, and thought-provoking question. Uh -huh. So, that's the question I'm supposed to ask you. Let me just answer it this way. I grew up very, very rich, but with very little money. You I think, dig? I think a lot of people can relate, can <laughs> certainly relate to that. Yeah. A lot uh, of love in my house. A lot of love. Being raised by a, a single mom, get it. Yep. Fully. Yeah. Got a lot it. of siblings, single mom, out in Ludlow, Massachusetts. See, that's the thing. You know? The East Coast here, I mean, it, it, I'm still not. I don't, have you gotten used to all of the shenanigans out here, like the traffic where 10 miles takes two hours to drive and all that other stuff? I have gotten used to that a little bit because really? I commuted yes. from Connecticut to Brooklyn. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, I never complain about driving. I really don't. So I have five kids. It's my only time alone <laughs> is in the car. Sorry, I didn't think about that. I'll just leave me in the car for a while. Go through in and out drive through <laughs> listen to books on audio. That's, I mean, I want to ride with you. That's yeah, like, I'm in and out, and, and that sounds like the plan. <laughs> so with that, now you get. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's weird signs coming down the carpet that I'm not entirely sure what they are. Uh, okay. I don't know that I want to know what they are. But that being said, you now get to return the favor, and you okay. get to give me a question to ask to whomever it is. It could be Steve. It could be okay. Ron. Okay. What's be anyone. the most? What's the most profound? What's the most recent and profound thing that you've learned about yourself? I like that one. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's always a pleasure to see you. Me too. I'm so happy. I'll make like sure you that you get this. Yeah, please do. You will. Hey, everybody. It's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy red carpet. 